I'm Luke Hatfield, joined by Joe Massey. We're here at the Hawthorns. Joe, um, you've just spoken to Valerian Ishmael here for his pre-match press conference ahead of the Blackburn game. And I tell you what, mood seems to be on a high after that 4-0 win. Well, it's going to be, isn't it, after that 4-0 win? Absolute thumping uh, victory over Sheffield United, of course, on Wednesday night. Albion were brilliant, absolutely brilliant, really, mm. from the first whistle to the last. You called it a slapping, I think. The yeah. biggest slapping you've ever seen Albion give anyone. Yeah. Which, yeah, I think that's it is right up there. They really were that good. Um, Oh, Bellis was asked about the mood in the camp, and he didn't stress it. It's always good, actually. He didn't yeah. say, obviously, look, the players are on a high course, so it was, they were brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant in the night. But he said the mood in, the, in training is always good. And look, the aim for him now is to build on it consistency. He uses the word consistency a lot. All managers do, don't they, really? But <clears throat> now the challenge is to go out and do this week after week after week. Well, not even week after week, twice a week, let's be honest, yeah. for the championship. <laughs> um, and constantly blow these teams away if they can in the style they did to the night. So, yeah, he said some really interesting things. I think the big thing from him is the belief. Look, Ismail, he's got his unique way of playing. It is unique. It really, really is. It's a, it's a philosophy that is very much his own. I don't think there's another manager out there playing in the same way as him. That intense. I really don't. Um, so he's talked a lot about belief. He's come into this club. He's got his ideas across to the players, but he needs them behind him. He needs them to believe in what he's telling them. And he said that that Sheffield United has helped reaffirm that belief and also that they can actually do this. They can play at that intensity for a full 90 minutes. They didn't do it against Luton. No. They played for that intensity for sort of 60, 70 minutes and in the end they clung on to win 3-2. Completely different story against Sheffield United. 4-0 battering on it from the first whistle to the last. Could have scored two or three in that last half an hour against Sheffield United. So it's just really important for the players to know that they can play this way for 90 minutes. So yeah, it's been that it's been such an important moment really that Sheffield United win. Yeah. The players. And like you said, it's building on that, you know, they've got a run of two games. Can they stretch out against a Blackburn team who have started very well? Started very well and interestingly Ismail I didn't know this, but Ismail said something from the press that they've actually changed their style. Mm. Tony Mowbray, look, everyone expects Tony Mowbray's teams to be very technical, keep the ball possession based. He actually said, and I, I didn't know this, so they've gone more direct this season. Mm. Started just as well as Albion, two wins and a draw from their first three games, seven points on the board. They have started really well, but yeah, it may not give me more confidence, but I think it's interesting Blackburn are going a little bit more direct this season. That would, to me, would play into Albion's hands a little mm. bit more. Um, but look, it's a very tough game. All of them are in the championship. They're a decent side back then, started very well. So, yeah, another, another interesting game. Yeah, and I mean, they haven't won away from home yet, Albion. They've had two wins at home. Do you think it's important or does it really matter to you? <laughs> no, I don't think it matters. So I haven't won away from home yet. I've only played once. Yeah. And I was a Bournemouth away. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It was a very a light point. It's a crisis, light. mate. It's crisis. We're in crisis. We can't win away. We just can't win away. Um, no, I think, that, I, think that, I think we're fine, mate. To yeah. be honest. I think one game. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's important to go on the road and maybe and maybe get that first win. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll reel you back in. Yeah, yeah. We need to get that first win on the road. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying they need it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, Albion <laughs> at the moment. Yourself. Yeah, you've you've made me lose my train of thought. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Um, top of the table. Are they going to be a team if this keeps up? Where they've got a bit of a target on their back because they're always going to be one of the teams with a target on their back because they've come down from the Premier League. You know I think, what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. You have ruined this video. I'm sorry, but we're doing videos every day. We need to make them a bit different. We'll just plow on. Yeah. So the target on the back is, yeah, the top of the league. But look, it's like you said, they've got a target on the back anyway. They've come mm. down from the Premier League. They are a big hitter in this league, aren't they? Coming here, Hawthorns, it's, it's, I mean, it's probably the best ground in the league, in my opinion. It's right up there anyway. And look, yeah, they've always got a target on the back. But I think then COVID, look, they've got so many experienced players in the squad. Mm. Sam Johnston, Kyle Bartley, Jake Livermore, right through the spine of the team, Matt Phillips. Alex Moe's experience, they've got so much experience, they're going to be fine with that, it's going to, that's not going to be an issue. Would you make any changes? I mean, the team performs so well against Sheffield United, it, it seems that it would be crazy to make changes. It's all about intensity, isn't it, and how the players feel after the game, whether Ismail feels like he needs to freshen things up. It's, by the sounds of what you said today, everyone's absolutely fine. Um, so, look, you'd expect the same team, you can't, I mean, you'd be... You can't really drop anyone after that performance, but if someone does need a rest, if someone does need a rest, of course you will. They've got a hectic schedule, it's a squad game, 46 game season, of course you've got to, can't, you've got to look, after, look at it game by game. So maybe, but if I was picking a team as, as of now, I think we can expect it to be the same. Alright, there we go. Uh, games tomorrow. Main Sawyers or not? No. Oh, shall we talk about yeah, him? Yeah, I've completely probably, forgot yeah, about you're that. All over the shop, yeah. I am all this over the shop. This is like a bloopers video. I, if, I mean, it's close. Uh, Remain Sawyers uh, on his way. Looks like it, looks like it. So reports came out, we've known for a while that Stoke um, interested in him. 
Reports last night he's going to be confirmed as a Stoke player today. Season on loan looks highly, highly likely at this stage. Did ask Ismail about it. Um, he sort of can't confirm it because it hasn't happened yet. But look, it's very, 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 very close. If we're being honest, we expect it to be today. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. It looks like remains Stoke's played his last game for Albion really because he's out of contract at the end of next season. So season on loan takes him to the end of his deal. Shame in many ways, he's an Albion lad. I think he was absolutely fantastic for like six, seven months in that preparation winning season last time around. But the question is, is he an Ismail plan? I think the vast majority of people think he isn't. Yeah. Um, and for that reason, it's best for him if he's not going to play. And, and, and Albion, if he's not going to play for him, to so join Stoke and hopefully play every week. Sorry, man, didn't mean to miss you out, mate. Yeah. Um, there we go. So Ewood Park tomorrow, me and Joe will both be there. Uh, hopefully with a better video after, after that game. Uh, but from us now, you know where to go for your pre-match uh, Reaction coverage, I'm struggling today. <laughs> Expressestar.com.